Assalamu alaikum boys and girls. I'm so happy that you came back to play and learn Arabic with Kuku. Are you excited? Today is going to be our first class in the alphabet. And Kuku is also very excited that he can start learning his alphabet. And also our friends here, they're very, very excited today. So <clears throat> let's start. And before we go to the classroom, we have to feed our fish, right? It is very important to take care of your pets. And it's very important that you also take your breakfast. Did you take your breakfast today in the morning? Great. So today, I think Salma wanted to, to go feed the fish with me. Salma alaikum, Salma, how are you? Okay, Salma, today you're gonna feed the fish, okay? And then we're gonna go and start our learning journey, okay? So, we're going to start feeding the fish, and here's the food, Salma, and we're going to give them some. Okay, Salma? Great. And while they're eating the, the food, we're going to sing the alphabet song, okay? Okay, are you ready, Salma? Okay, great. Alif, ba, ta, tha, jim, ha, kho. Dal dal ra zay sin shin saad Dat ta dha in ghim fa qaf Kaf lam mim nun ha waw ya Now I know my alif ba Huruf al-arabiya Yay Salma, you did it! That's so good Salma! You're going to get better and better every time when we practice the song, okay? Because you just started. So, you're going to sit here, Salma, with your friends, and you're going to listen to the class with Coco. Are you ready, friends? Okay, let's go. How are you today? Are you excited? I know. You're going to start today your learning alphabet. Your friends also, they are waiting. And also our friends at home, they are waiting to learn. Today is going to be our first class. And we're going to uh, meet every week. And we're going to do our classwork, we're going to do our homework, and we're going to keep learning till we be perfect. Uh, before we start our class, I want to show you this book. This is the book that I'm going to be using. It's called Al Qara Sagir or Little Reader Three Steps Toward Reading Quran. Because that's our goal. We want to learn Arabic so we can read the Quran, right? So, um, before we start, I want to tell you a little bit about the Arabic language. In English, we used to write the ABC or whatever uh, word Ahmed, we go from left to right. But in the Arabic, we have to go from right to left. We read from right to left. It's quite a bit different. You will get used to it after a while. And it's also important, like English, to write on the line. It's very important. Learn from the beginning to write your letters on the line. So whenever you want to practice, you have to choose uh, like line papers and um, work on them. So before we start, I want to show you uh, how we're going to go with the book. I will teach you every week a set of uh, letters, and <coughs> your job is to listen carefully, and after you finish the class, you're going to go home, and uh, if you have this book or, or you just can make your own uh, class work, you're <coughs> going to circle the letter in each word that it matches the one uh, outside. And then after you finish that, we need to practice how to write these letters. So what we do is, you have here um, the alphabet, <coughs> and 
they have numbers, so you have to join the dots first, then trace them. Then you can write your own until you finish all your uh, letters. And then you're going to have extra practice at home that is uh, as a homework. So every day you're going to write a little bit of each letter and till you finish. By next week, when uh, we meet again, you're going to finish all these. And then here you can write from Aleph to the to Sa or till the last letter you learn. And then here is your Maharaj. We're going to talk about them now. And um, that's, that's all about it. It's very easy. So, <clears throat> other thing about Arabic books. In English, what do we do? We open the books from left to right. This way, right? We read left to right. In Arabic is, is other story. In Arabic, we open our book from right to left. We turn our pages from right to left. So we go this way and this way, okay? And uh, the numbers are going to be going this, this direction. So they're going to be one, two, three instead of one, two, three. And also uh, when we uh, write also from right to left. Okay, let's, let's go. Are you ready? <clears throat> Today we're going to learn the first four letters in the alphabet. The first one is quite easy and is just like an, a straight line with something on the top curly like this. This is called Aleph. And the, the mark on the top or the shape on the top is called Hamza. Okay? Aleph can be also written without Hamza. It can be like this. And Aleph makes a sound A. Ah. With Hamza or without Hamza, sometimes it makes a sound A. Ah. And without Hamza, sometimes it doesn't have a sound. We will learn that when we go to the uh, next part. And Hamza also, we can find it on the line, we can find it on wow, on yeah, uh, and we will learn more about this later on. But the main thing, you should always start from the right side of the paper and go this way and stay on your line. Okay, can you tell me what sound do you hear when uh, you hear the letter Aleph? The first sound comes out from your mouth. Ah, ah. Alif. So the sound the alif make is a, a, a. It comes from the bottom of your throat. And the bottom of your throat is the makhraj for Hamza. And what is makhraj? Do you know? If you speak the Arabic language, you will have a hint about what is makhraj. Makhraj Arabic means an exit. There's an exit here, an exit there. And um, the plural of exit is maharaj, exits. So the, the maharaj or the exit where the alif or the hamza sound comes out is, uh, is the bottom of your throat. Um, the second letter in the alphabet is called ba and is written this way. Okay, the ba has a bottom on the, uh, sorry, has a dot on the bottom, I'm sorry. So it's a clue. That is, if you forgot, where is the dot for the ba? Or what is this letter called? So ba bottom dot, mm, makes sense. So ba bottom dot, ba bottom dot. And you will never forget it again. So remember this trick because we're going to have more letters. We have, they have the same shape but different number and position for the dots. What is the makhraj for ba? Where do you feel ba coming from? Ba. Mostly where do you feel ba? It's from your lips. Right. The makhraj for ba is mainly when your soft or wet area in your lips here, they touch together strongly, hardly. And the way how we make the sound by saying, putting alif before and say ab, 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 ab. Don't say ab, don't close your lips because that's wrong. Ba comes from the 
the wet part of your lip. Ab, ab, ab. You got it? So this is the, the, the soft or wet part of your lips when they meet together uh, strongly is a makhraj for ba. The next letter after ba is sister ta. Okay? And ta has three, uh, two dots. And is a second, the second clue is ta two. Ta two dots. Okay, got it. Ba bottom ta two. So you will never forget again. If you say, what is this? Ba or ta? No, but this is two dot. Two ta. Yeah, this is ta. And you will never forget it again. Uh, what sound does ta makes? T -t 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 -t. Can you say? At the, at the, where do you feel your tongue? That's right. The makhraj for the ta is just on the gum line of your upper central incisors. This front upper two teeth, we call them central incisors or upper central incisors. So where the, the teeth just fit inside your gum, we call it a gum line. And when the tip of your tongue the tip of your tongue touches the gum line of your upper central incisor. This is the makhraj for ta. At, at, okay. The next letter in the uh, today's set is the letter fa. Fa has three dots. And again, our third clue. Fa three. Tha three, tha three dot. Okay, tha three, tha two, ba bottom dot. And uh, if you remember these uh, tricks, you will never confuse them again, and you will never have to think, oh, which one is ba? Which where? Where is the ba dots on top or the bottom or how many? You will never, never uh, feel like that. You will always remember them because you made you made some clues. And uh, what sound does the fa make? Can you say thank you? Yes, you put your tongue a little bit outside. Th, 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 th. So the tip of your tongue touches your sharp, the sharp edges of your upper central incisor. That when the fa come out. You cannot say sa, no, your, your tip of your tongue has to come a little bit out and touches the sharp edges of your upper central incisor. And you say ath, ath, fa, fa, okay? And uh, that's it for today. Uh, all that you have to do at home is to remember how every letter sound, the makhraj for every letter, and how to write it, and practice writing from uh, right to left. Uh, also for the Aleph, the Hamza, I want to teach you a trick for the Hamza because I found that the, the children in my classroom, they always for a long time keeping writing the Hamza like this. They make it like two and that's wrong. So uh, if you found your Hamza uh, like, a, like two in English, this is a, this is a clue that it, it is wrong and then you just have to flip it over and make it right and you make it like this. So this one is wrong, this one is right. Right, Cuckoo? Yeah. So, Cuckoo will have a lot of work to do today at home. He will practice his, his four letters. And we have a project to do. I'm going to show you how to do it. We're going to have a lot of fun. Okay. <clears throat> You're going to need a, a paper. Like, like this, or kind of a, a hard board or a cardboard, and you're going to have to make some lines, four lines on them. And then you're going to need fuzzy sticks or anything you, you have at home, anything that is, uh, it can do the job. I don't have to use expensive things. And I'm going to be using the fuzzy sticks since they are very easy to work with. You're going to need a scissor. You're going to need a tape. That's all. Okay? So, 
And this is how your uh, fuzzy sticks, you're gonna have them, they're gonna come, they're gonna come like that, very long, so we can use it that. So you're gonna have to cut it with a scissor to the, uh, any size that you, you want. If you're using a small paper, you can cut them small. If you wanna make a big board, you can uh, cut them big. So <clears throat> the main idea is, this can bend any, sh any shape that we want. So what we're gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna show you on the board since it is easy to see, and then I'm gonna show you how I did it on paper. <coughs> I'm gonna make my alif, okay? I cut it with a scissor to the, to the size I want, and then I have here my tape with me. So I'm gonna cut a little piece from the tape, okay? And I'm going to put my alif on the line. Let's just draw a line for this. <coughs> And then uh, I'll, I fix it on the, like that on the paper. Now it stays. And then let me get it off this block. Okay. Then I'm going to get my Hamza. I'm going to get uh, a small piece because. It's, it's, the Hamza should need uh, a little bit. So I'm going to curl it like this into a shape and make it like a Hamza. And then again I'm going to get my tape, cut it, and I'm going to put the Hamza this way, this way. No, it's just like two, it's wrong. This way. Good. And then you're going to tape your Hamza. And you can do the same thing also with the ba and the ta and so on. So I'm going to make you here uh, other one, which is maybe the ta. We can make ta also. So what you do is you just uh, get it, bend it, and you can just tape it on your paper. And you can add more tape on the top to hold it tight. And then with your with your dots, you can use anything at home. You can use buttons, you can uh, use the markers, you can use the same five sticks, uh, they, you cut them to small part and then you just have to get a tape and you put one here and one next to it. You're going to make two dots and just tape it to the top. And here we have our tab. Got it? And uh, once you get every week you get a set of letters you go and tape them and this is how it's going to look like and every week we're going to have more sets you're going to go home and you're going to tape them until we finish to the year and when you finish your project i'm going to show you a very nice thing we're going to do we're going to uh, put it in a nice board and we're going to decorate around the board and you can hang it in your room actually. So you, you, you can tape it direct on the board or you can just start with the paper like that until you find something uh, um, that you like. And um, so uh, you can buy your stuff and every week just add the letters that you learn in the class. For now, I will uh, ask you to practice at home and I want you to listen carefully to what I'm going to say. I want you every day to sit 10, 15 minutes with your mom or your dad or uh, maybe our brother or sister and to work on this. First you're going to start with the first page. I want you to look at the aleph. See how it, how it is, it's, how it's written. And then find the aleph in, in the word, sometime in the beginning, sometime in the middle, at the end, and try just to circle it. And that's all what you're going to do. But I want you to learn mainly the, the main shape, the original shape of that letter. And once you finish that, I want you to turn the page and then you're going to start joining the dots. And here is your alif. And you just connect the dots. And you can do uh, one line alif first, in the first day, one line alif, one line ba, one line cha, and one, one line sa. That's going to take you all maximum 15 minutes. The next day you come again 
and write trace Aleph, Ba, Ta, Tha. That is two days. And then again, on the third day, come and try to write it on your own, no tracing, and uh, be, stay on the line. Write Aleph, Ba, Ta, Tha. This is the third day. The fourth day, I want you to start on the homework. And the fourth day, you're going to be writing the Aleph. And the ba and the and, the, and, the, and the same thing, you can make maybe two lines, two lines, two lines, and two lines. And next day, come and make one line again. And the third day, you can make again uh, the last part. The last part is you write from alif to tha. You write alif, ba, ta, tha, going from right to left. And don't write any more than that. Alif, ba, ta, tha. And every day also, you're going to find at the, the back here, at the end of your uh, lesson or homework, you're going to find the Maharaj I just taught you. So every day just read them, try to remember them, and uh, with your writing. By the end of the week, till I meet you again next week, you will be a pro because you have been practicing every day. Uh, but do not try to sit for a long time, like one hour, trying to finish all your homework or all your study that you, done, you did today uh, in one day or don't wait till after three four days because after three four days you will forget uh, you, you, you can watch the video again and, and try to remember but if you're in school the teacher will not go home with you so make it a habit to do your homework as soon as uh, possible before you forget what the teacher said in the class uh, for now uh, that's all and um, I wish that you come back again next week to learn uh, more letters and play also with Cuckoo. And uh, let's see our friends um, here, what they're doing. Hey, did you have fun today? Okay. Okay, my friends, today we're going to sing again with Salma, the alphabet, before we leave. Okay, Salma, are you ready? Are you ready, my friends at home? Can you sing along? You just try, because it's new to you. So if you didn't know the alphabet before, it may be hard, but just try, listen, and try to uh, sing with Salma, okay? Ready? Alif. Ba ta tha jim ha ha dal dal ra zay sin shin sad da ta za in rin fa kaf kaf lam mim nun ha wow ya now I know my alif ba huruf al arabiya. Okay, Salma, thank you very much. You've been a very good girl today. Okay? Okay. And um, my friends at home, uh, do your homework, study your alphabet, and don't wait till end of the week. And I'll see you next week, inshallah. Salamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.